I know you've taken a real hard look, particularly at artificial intelligence, what it means for jobs in the United States, for the workplace. What have you concluded? Well, I haven't, I'm not sure I've concluded much, David, other than to believe that it's an issue that has been underappreciated and underanalyzed in public policy terms. And I think there are three sorts of considerations here. First is the potential sheer magnitude of the impact. That is, as you noted a moment ago, uh, may well be millions, and I've seen estimates that are not alarmist estimates that go well above a couple of million. Secondly, that those losses will not just be at the lower end of the wage scale, but could go all the way up to what we now think of as professional jobs, contributing to a further hollowing out of the middle in the American and other mature economies. Second consideration is that even if you take a fairly optimistic view of where this all may end up, that is, that technology will end up creating as many jobs as it eliminates, as has been the case in the past, the transition may be an extremely difficult one. You know, we think transition temporary, therefore it's kind of okay. But if a transition is long enough and if it's dramatic enough, there can be permanent scars to the people who lose their jobs, but I think also to the, to the economy as a whole. You know, Bill Gates is no technophobe. He's the furthest thing from it, but he's expressed concern about the pace of the change. And the third consideration, I think, is the intersection of the economics and the politics. You know, since, uh, if you go back to the enclosure movement and the early industrial revolution in Britain, when there is substantial displacement that has a social as well as an economic effect, there is a high correlation with political mm. uh, consequences, including um, more polarization, more disaffection, uh, more movement away from the center towards more dramatic alternatives. And, and I think to some degree we saw, we've seen some of that in this country. I mean, the, we lost almost 20 percent of manufacturing jobs in the United States in the decade before the financial crisis. I'm from Flint. Tell me about exactly. it. Exactly. And, and I think, uh, you, we don't know for a fact, obviously, but I think there's a pretty good chance that those losses at the pace, the pace of the losses, the sense of, of, um, of being displaced had contributed, has contributed to the polarization and the disaffection that we that we see today.